among our investors, we certainly see a preference for U.S. stocks. And I think, Tanner, you put your finger right on it. Uh, the U.S. has about 30 percent of its population fully vaccinated now. There's an economic tailwind helped in no small part by fiscal spending, by a Federal Reserve that is committed to easy monetary policy. They'll reiterate that later this week when they meet. A lot of household savings. And all of that is showing up in a corporate earnings season that is shaping up to be very robust, even better than expectations headed into it. So there's a triple tailwind for the U.S. markets that continues to drive stocks higher. And that's better off than a lot of the rest of the world. Oh, yes, indeed. But that triple tailwind is also kind of a pushed back by major headwind in inflation that, you know, the market has been debating heavily about. What's your sense? Where do you stand on that debate, on that uh, argument? I think it's the biggest question, the biggest risk facing markets this year is this push and pull. The Federal Reserve seems to have already concluded that any inflationary pressures are transitory. Any demand-driven inflation is just the release of pent-up demand after a year of not being able to spend money. And it's also supply-driven. The disruption to supply chains has an inflationary impact as well. I think the Fed on, on Thursday when they meet will characterize both of those as short-term, as transitory, and it remains to be seen whether or not they're right. As you've seen, financial markets are already pricing in a higher risk of inflation going forward. The yield curve in the U.S. has steepened a fair bit. Break-even spreads have widened out to more along the lines of 2.5%. None of those things are alarming yet, but it is certainly a trend that is near the top of our list of things to watch as risks to the market as this year unfolds. 